Bereshit, Genesis 34. And Dina, the daughter of Leah, which she bore unto Yaakov, went out to see the daughters of the land. And when Shechem, the son of Chavmor, the Chivi, prince of the country, saw her, he took her and lay with her and defiled her. And as his soul clave unto Dina, the daughter of Yaakov, and he loved at the damsel and spoke kindly unto the damsel, and Shechem spoke unto his father, Charmor, saying, Get me at this damsel to be my woman. And Yaakov heard that he had defiled at Dina, his daughter. Now his sons were with at his cattle in the field, and Yaakov held his peace until they were come. And Chamor, the father of Shechem, went out unto El Yaakov to commune with him. And the sons of Yaakov came out of the field when they heard it. And the men were grieved, and they were very wroth, because he had wrought folly in Yisrael in lying at with Yaakov's daughter, which thing ought not to be done. And Chamor communed with them, saying, The soul of my son Shechem longs for your daughter. I pray you give her him to be his woman. And make ye marriages with us, and give at your daughters unto us, and take our daughters unto you. And ye shall dwell with us, and the land shall be before you. Dwell and trade ye therein, and get you possessions therein. And Shechem said unto her father and unto her brethren, Let me find grace in your eyes, and what ye shall say unto me I will give. Ask me never so much dowry and gift, and I will give according as ye shall say unto me. But give me at the damsel to be my woman. And the sons of Yaakov answered at Shechem and at Chamor, his father deceitfully, and said, because he had defiled at Dinah, their sister. And they said unto them, We cannot do this thing to give at our sister to one that is uncircumcised, for that were a reproach unto us. But in this will we consent unto you, if ye will be as we be, that every male of you be circumcised. Then will we give our daughters unto you, and we will take your daughters to us, and we will dwell with you, and we will become one people. But if ye will not hearken unto us to be circumcised, then will we take at our daughter, and we will be gone. And their words pleased Chamor and Shakam Chamor's son. The young man deferred not to do the thing, because he had delight in Yaakov's daughter, and he was more honorable than all the house of his father. And Chamor and Shechem, his son, came unto the gate of their city and communed with the men of their city, saying, These men are peaceable with us, therefore let them dwell in the land and trade therein. For the land, behold, it is large enough for them. Let us take at their daughters to us for women, and at let us give them our daughters. Only herein will the men consent unto us for to dwell with us, to be one people. In every male among us, rather if every male among us be circumcised, as they are circumcised, Shall not their cattle and their substance and every beast of theirs be ours? Only let us consent unto them, and they will dwell with us. And unto Chamor and unto Shakam, his son hearkened all that went out of the gate of his city. And every male was circumcised, all that went out of the gate of his city. 
And it came to pass on the third day when they were sore that two of the sons of Yaakov, Shimon and Levi, Dinah's brethren, took each man his sword and came upon the city boldly and slew all the males. And they slew Et Shamor and Et Shechem, his son with the edge of the sword, and took Eth Dinah out of Shechem's house and went. The sons of Yaakov came upon the slain and spoiled the city because they had defiled their sister. They took Et their sheep and Et their oxen and Et their asses and Et that which was in the city and Et that which was in the field and at all their wealth, and at all their little ones, and at their women they took, rather, and at their women took they captive, and spoiled at Evan, rather, and spoiled at even all that was in the house. And Yaakov said to Shimon and Levi, Ye have troubled me, to make me to sink among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaim and the Perizim, and I being few in number. They shall gather themselves together against me and slay me, and I shall be destroyed, I and my house. And they said, Should he deal at with our sister as with a harlot?